I guess we're gonna get this started. Hi, I'm uh, Maldrick 300. Uh, welcome to our Far Cry 4 First Impressions broadcast. Uh, that is uh, Maldrick. I'm Maldrick 300 on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. And Maldrick is my gamer gaming tag, gamer tag on Xbox Live. Uh, we're gonna be broadcasting a uh, First Impressions uh, look at uh, Far Cry 4. Um, for those who follow my YouTube channel and have seen my broadcast before, um, you know that uh, with the, the newer games and the newer console, I've gotten into uh, kind of exploring what's new with the new games and how the new games look on the new console and um, kind of going into it cold. And that's actually uh, uh, kind of a fun way to do it, I think. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy joining me for these things. Uh, Far Cry 4, I decided to check it out because it looks really great. I don't know anything about it. I never played any of the earlier games. And uh, all I know is just from what I've been told, you know, you, you essentially are, uh, you, you, you're, you're on vacation at an exotic location and the, the bad guy makes something crazy happen and you have to survive and I think even save the day, I think. I don't know entirely. Um, I also know from reading the game box that it looks like we're somewhere in the Himalayas. Um, and I know uh, from seeing the ads that the graphics look really good. And uh, I've also been told that uh, it's not a straight shooter. There are also some role-playing elements to it. So let's uh, get in and check it out and we will uh, explore all of this uh, together. My buddy who uh, recommended this at the uh, at the, my uh, my GameStop location, uh, uh, Michael. Shout out to you, Michael, if you uh, catch this. Also said uh, that it was a good idea. Apparently, at some point, we're with the antagonist. He asks us to wait at a table, and he says something crazy happens. Uh, so we shall see. I'm just going to get these settings done. I usually like a little bit brighter games, so I'm going to go about halfway there. Let's see here. Play 5 versus 5. Okay, that's multiplayer. So we're just going to start with the, the regular uh, thing, and I will deal with checking out the Uplay stuff later. I think we'll go offline just to kind of make this a uh, a solo experience so we can kind of check this out. Sport. 
lead. I'll do the talking. Passport. Slap the monkey around. Oh, this looks like What's a happening? fun place to go on vacation. Nice graphics. So things appear to head south pretty quickly. We don't even get to sit on the beach and have a pina colada or anything. This must be our guy. I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus, not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop, shoot, stop, shoot. <laughs> Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, what'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! And I got blood on my fucking shoes. At least there's a silver lining. We didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. Recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you if food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little picture right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Nice. Should I stay or should I go? So my buddy was correct. The uh, antagonist is insane. Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplume. <laughs> 
Well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start, introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. Oh, we'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. All of it. Here we go. Hmm. All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> that's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother. Your mother, on hey. the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. <laughs> that takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. Then I realized, it's not me, no. It was the fucking golden path. <laughs> Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's we'll see here. It been fun. Really, guys, we're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> a text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on, cry for help. Try for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! help. From your diaphragm! Help! help. Shh, 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 shh. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! Find out what he knows. <sighs> Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. That's nice. There's mom. My buddy told me that this, this is the part he said to, to kind of stick around. So he said it's about 15 minutes or something. I don't know if we're supposed to just wait. I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about the gameplay of, of, of these games. So I guess we'll find out. But he says something kind of crazy happens if we stick around here. So I guess we'll just explore a bit. What the fuck? Lovely language, by the way. My delicate, delicate ears are... I'm kidding. This actually looks like a really cool game. I think I'm gonna actually see about turning the, uh, the brightness up just a tad. Aha, a map. Pretty standard for that button, I guess. Okay. Interesting.
Interesting. So I'm getting the impression that this is kind of, see here where it says, gives a suggestion, play in co-op to even the odds or weaken the fortress by completing more campaign missions. Awards large amounts of experience. I'm guessing, I'm a big fan of the Borderlands games, and I've never played any of these, and I'm wondering if maybe uh, this is a good co-op game just like that. I don't know. That's why I'm kind of, I, uh, that's why I'm broadcasting, and that's why I'm enjoying, uh, uh, having a look at this because it's all new. Let's see if we can get a bigger look at the world. It's just a village, There's an airport. Interesting. Okay. Oops. What I also find interesting, you'll notice that there are no no HUD elements. Um there's no mini-map that we see so far, no ammo indicator, but I guess that probably means because... Or that's probably be because we don't have any weapons or anything right just yet. Is there an inventory or anything? And that's... oh, here we go. Yeah, I just looked at the map. Let's see, let's go into skills. Interesting. This could be very interesting. Hip shooting accuracy. Great. These, are, these look to be just innates, and I'm guessing you probably say here for the elephant, you probably got to start on this side, and then you can these start to unlock after you do these, and then probably over here it works. I don't know. We'll get into it and we'll see. Let's see crafting. Okay. And you can upgrade it. Interesting. Excellent. Okay, our progress. Nice. So this uh, got a lot of collectibles, a lot of things to pick up, a lot of progress to fill out, which should, you know, make for a nice OCD alter for me, because these are exactly the kind of games that I'll wind up playing for months and months, which is actually a good problem to have. It makes it makes it fun. That's why I'd never played any of these. I just got so shootered out. I pretty much have only played. Borderlands games for shooters in the last couple of years just because it just got so repetitive. Let's see what this is. We're going into this collection. Mom's note. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing. In our backstory here, we're probably here to bring Mom's ashes back to her home, and as per her her last request, I guess. Lost letters. Okay.
right, so we're, in, we're, in, we're picking up in the middle of a civil war here, which I'm guessing our, our antagonist is taking advantage of for whatever it is. His crazy, uh, whatever his crazy motives are. Excellent. People have raved about this game, and I've never really got any explanation why, but I'm guessing this is probably probably why. There's a fact there are factions, interesting. Okay, so I guess there will be a mini map. Hold Y for a healing syringe. Okay, good to know, good to know. Ah, okay. We gotta collect green plants, and every time we get two, it'll automatically craft a syringe, which, which we can then heal ourselves with. Very nice. Alright, we've got stealth, combat, and cover. Interesting. There's a detection meter. Okay. Good to know. I have a feeling we're going to probably tutorial this a little bit, so let's just walk around. we gotta, we got to kind of chill out in here to see what Got some cash. go down. I don't want to don't want to leave because my friend said that there's something cool to see if we stick around, but we'll kind of poke around and keep uh, exploring. And I guess that's probably a massive spoiler. He didn't tell me actually what it what it is. It's about the only thing I know about this game <laughs> other than just the, you know the the cursory stuff. Business card, ammo for handguns, and cash. Interesting. Okay. I saw a little bit of that old movie from the the eighties with uh, Eddie Murphy, the Golden Child. Um, not too long ago, and these these things remind me of that. I think these are like in actuality, these would spin, and they're it's some type of. I'm not sure. I think we're some kind of like kind of Buddhist thing. I think, but the graphics are really great. I think it looks really good. And I can't help but wonder if maybe the uh, brightness should come up a little bit. But I am going to uh, leave it at this. Um, I'm showing here that I have a viewer. Uh, who, thank you, viewer. <laughs> um, if you have any opinions on, you know, what this looks like as far as uh, brightness and whatnot goes, be happy to or, uh, to adjust it if you let me know in chat. Did I screw up? Well, I might have missed, uh, it's not letting me go back, so I might have missed the, uh, the whole thing my buddy was telling me about. But, uh, if that's the case, um, I will, uh, do another, you know, I'll start over at some point. Oh, fuck. 
Oof. Oh, good. And uh, I'll do another one. We'll just I'll just leave it running up there, and we'll see what it is. I think I will go ahead and uh, bump that up a notch on the brightness. safely no matter the cost. Darpan would understand. Now stay close. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Anjay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One. Two, three, stay close! Okay, here we go. Hurry, hurry! Keep your head down! All right, figured out how to... how to run. Basically, like Call of Duty controls. Nice. What the hell? There's a gun underneath the dashboard. Use it. Sure, who I'm supposed to be shooting at? Oh, it's these guys. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Driver's dead. 
Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. You can do this, Ajay. All right, there's our health bar. I'm going to hold Y. There we go. Okay. All right, the detection meter fills up as enemies spot you. If it's full and it flashes, you're detected. Okay. Wasn't exactly how I thought that was gonna go. I uh, hit the wrong button too. You have to push down on the right stick to melee, and I tried using the trigger. All right, Let's see if we can handle this stealth a little better this time. I promise too. Okay. We just want to talk to you. Come out. It'll be okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I got some beachfront property. Oh, all right. This has all been just a See if we throw a rock. I need to go up, or if I can go up, or what? But we'll we will see. I can get up here. Yeah, oh, almost. Okay, off this. I 
Ah! Damn it to hell. I'm gonna just outrun him. Since I'm busted anyway, I might as well make a run for it. One of these. Huh. That's interesting. Well, it would seem that my little running maneuver there actually did something. It got me to this point, but without aggro. I don't know if that's cool or not. Um, I guess it would be good for cutting corners if that's what you like to do, but it's kind of, I don't know, not, not really crazy about those kinds of things in the game where you can just sort of physically leap past checkpoints just to enemies. Uh, okay. How do we throw bait? button. Okay. Gotta go this way, so that's pretty cool. So these guys are gonna make our lives a living hell, but we can probably throw a little bit of that back at them. It's, it's looking like. Nice. I think I just did a little like s slide into into stealth or something here. Which is pretty cool. Aha, uh -huh. okay. 
So camera. Tag a guy? Is that? Huh. So I guess once we see them on camera, call guns for hire. Interesting. I guess that's going to be like be able to call in some help. Fantastic. Always like that. I think if we just get out of here... Okay, so they're still tagged. Alright, so that's just the thing. You want to get your camera out. And a little little Assassin Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed crossover here. Alright. I guess we're still trying to get somewhere over here. these graphics. Look at that. I mean, I don't know if, like, if I can actually engage these guys at this point because I'm not really armed and uh, like they're after me. But I'm not sure if I can. I mean, what am I supposed to do if I aggro? Do I escape? I guess I'll just try to escape. kind of wonder if maybe I should have kept uh, one of those baits from before around. Some wild animals would be nice for taking out these handful of guys, I think. But I didn't uh hey, there we go again. I can just whack one of these guys and take a gun. Oh, that's not working. Not happening. Oh, oh I killed him. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, this guy's rifle. run back down here real quick and see if I can find some more uh, some more bait okay guess 
not. So, I have nothing. Alright, well. Hey, what these graphics really are fantastic in this. And I do kind of dig the the skill type things we're going to be able to get into. That definitely makes it a little bit more interesting than your average shooter. All right. Guards marked. All right, let's see. Let's sneak down here. I just don't see how this is like. I mean, it's broad daylight. I don't really know how I'm supposed to be doing this, but okay. On me, yeah, they they got me. Jeez. Kind of inclined to see if I can run past these fools. Oh, look at this! Look at that! Look at that! Andre, my boy, are you busy? You don't mind me calling, do you? Fantastic! You really are an excellent listener. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not to everyone's taste. But you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? <laughs> Regardless, next time I can promise you a better spread. That's the last time I'm kidnapping a fucking TV celebrity chef. So I guess that was our, our little Easter egg we were supposed to hang out for. I'm going to actually, as soon as this mission's over, I think I'm going to probably stop this. Look, look at us climbing. That's cool. Um, and uh, go back and watch for that. And I'll make a video if uh, anything exciting happens. goat or whatever got in my way. Uh, so, uh, 
That, that's what I was trying to do, but the goat bumped me. Well, my first impression of this game is that it is a very beautiful, it's by the way. You, son of Mohan. And you made it all the way here on your own. Sabal is waiting for you near the tower. Good. So we got we found the good guys, I guess, or at least people that are going to help us, or that we're going to help, most likely. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this scenery. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's a beautiful game, and it seems to be quite robust in what you can do with it. Kind of wide open as far as character advancement, and it's not just a simple shooter, which is what I've kind of gotten tired of. Although I should try some... I, I've not played a Call of Duty, for example, since... Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I think. Um, so maybe I'm, I'm due to try Advanced Warfare this year at some point. But this will work for now because this is gorgeous. And I kind of like having a little bit more of a story than... I mean, you know, we've blown up the world 50 times over in those other games. So it's just something fresh. Good job, son of Mohan. Why are you guys helping me? You're the son of Mohan Kali. You may not know it, but that name carries a lot of weight in Kira, especially for the Golden Bar. Are those army guys still looking for me? Pagan men will stop at nothing to get you back. Damn. Some of Pagan's men managed to track us. They'll be here in a second. We're in for a fight. Right button is grenades. Good, good. Oops, excuse me, sir. Check this out. Avalanche, take cover. 
If we get to some point of conclusion here, I'm going to stop this. Um, again, I'm Maldrick300. Thank you for joining us. First look, uh, first impressions of Far Cry 4. Um, that was, you guys watched the my first uh, look at any of these games. I've never played any of them. Um, thank you for That's a good thing, right? for joining us. Again, I'm Maldrick300 on Twitch. YouTube and Twitter and gamer tag is Maldrick 300. Thank you for joining us and I hope you'll uh, join us another time. How did you know to find me? You saw Bacon's chopper nearby. 